Hello uh, guys, uh, in this knowledge module, we will try to solve a very simple question. Um, I hope you will be able to see the question on screen. So the question is that there is a guy, his name is Ali, and he purchased today a car worth of $32,000. And uh, uh, he fully financed this car, means he did not put any down payment. And or uh, and in, in fact, he he totally financed it, and the the loan period is five years. So he has to return that thirty two thousand uh, dollar within five year period of time. Uh, the the APR annual percentage rate, uh, uh, which the uh, the lending company is charging him is three percent, and this is compounded. Uh, monthly means he has to pay the monthly installments uh, the three percent interest rate is actually the annual interest rate but he has to pay the uh, the interest on this loan after every month so annual rate is given mentioned but it is clearly also mentioned that the compounding is monthly so number one question is that what is the monthly installment number two how much Ali own, owns on the loan after he makes the payment for two years? So once the two year will will finish, how much he still own uh, after paying uh, the payments of uh, uh, equal payments of the twenty four uh, 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 months or two years? So if you can see over here, it's a uh, example of an amortized loan where the there will be equal payments which needed to be paid to the lenders uh, over the period of the or, or, or over the life of the loan so uh, you can see that uh, this first line over here is this one over here this is actually the the year zero or month zero this is the end of the year zero or month zero means it's right now and then this is actually end of the year one this is end of the year two this is end of the year three end of year zero four and end of the year Five, right but because the interest the, the the interest rate is compounded monthly means the interest needed to paid um, uh, by um, uh, like on the monthly term basis means 12 times in a year so it means that we have to convert the years into the number of periods and uh, we will convert it by multiplying the years number of years so we will get actually the n over here by multiplying the number of years which is 5 with m what is m the compounding frequency how many times the interest will be paid right so it is monthly compounded so 5 multiplied by 12 so we will get 60 so in 60 time period so this is the the end of the zero time period this is end of the first time period uh, uh, first uh, uh, period remember over here uh, we have to convert uh, the the number of period into monthly periods because the compounding is monthly right so the interest rate is compounded monthly right so when how many 12 months how many months are there in one year it's 12 so that's why when there is a end of first year it me it is also equal to the end of the 12 months right likewise end of the second year means end of the 24th month right and end of the fifth year means end of the 60th uh, fifth year means end of the 60th month right so we will consider for the purpose of calculations uh, the the monthly period so there are 60 periods and when ever there is uh, the 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 compounding frequency different than the annual uh, uh, compounding means uh, rather interest being paid charge one time in a year it if it is more than one time in a year the second treatment we we have to do is to convert the simple interest rate so the simple interest rate over here or the quoted or APR interest rate is actually the three percent this is the annual rate right and when there is nothing written Right, even when it is written monthly compounding, the rates are always in on in on yearly term basis. This one, so we have to convert into the per period interest. Like 
what is the interest charge for the one month rather for the whole year for the whole year we know it's three percent right this one right but we want to know that what is the what is the per period interest so in order to convert into the per period interest because that will be used in the calculation per period interest we have to divide the annual interest with the compounding means m what is m over here 12 right this one again because the the compounding is monthly so 12 and this will give you 0 0.25 percent we can double check it mm. 3 divided by 12, 3% divided by 12, yes, it's 0.25 percent. So we have all the data which we can plug in into our financial calculator. So what is our N? We know the N now, the N is 60. What is my per period interest? Because that will be actually used into the calculations and that is 0 0.25 percent. What is my present value? Present value is my $32,000 uh, $32, because this is the amount which I am financing, right? Uh, then what is the last payment over here? It's zero. All the payments which will happen over here which will be happening in the equal installment. So equal installment will happen after equal period of time. So the future value, oh, sorry, will be zero but we have to find the equal installment payments which is pmt this is what we need to find so let's start feeding in our numbers and if you see over here we have a calculate ba2 uh, texas instrument ba2 uh, financial calculator what is my n my n is 60 right what is my interest per period interest? Again, not the annual 3% interest. I converted that simple interest into the per period interest over here. Here you go, right? So this is what we have to do. So the per period interest is 0.25 interest. Uh, so interest. My fi financing is 32,000 which is my present value future value is zero i'll not pay anything lump sum at the end of the 60th period but i have to pay and this whole loan amount in equal payments after every fixed interval of time which is the one month right so this is 575 so my payment turned out to be 575 <clears throat> Let me see if I was able to select the the pen again. Yes. Okay. So we can see that of oh, my payment turned out to be dollar five hundred seventy five dollar. Right. So this is the installment payment. Now there is a second part of this question as well. The second part of the question is that once Two years will pass means after 24 periods where each period is consisting of a month what would be the principal over here I still need to pay right so by this time we know that the equal payments are 575 and how many equal payments are left how many equal payments are left so there are 36 equal payments left Right. How do we know? Because 24 payments I have already made. Right. So I need to find the present value of these 36 equal payments. Right. And if I am able to find the present value of these 36 equal payments, where the per period interest is 0.25%, uh, uh, I will be able to find that what is the principal amount, part of the principal, which the the Ali still owes. So, in first 24 payments, he is making the equal payments 575, but that 575 is consists of two components. Number one is principal, so some part of the principal is going, and the other one is the interest, so some interest is going. But if I will be able to 
discount back the the 36 remaining equal payments installments at 0.25 percent i will be able to find the principal only the principal part which uh, ali still needs to pay let's suppose if after two years he has some money left what will be the principal at this time after 24 months or after two years which is due which if ali pay then uh, that's it he will be able to uh, like uh, settle the uh, the loan uh, by paying the principal amount only right so uh, what is then and in that case we know because 24 payments are already been uh, already been paid so total loan period consists of 60 uh, months so 60 minus 20, 24 months so he is left with 36 months so n is 36 what is the interest per period the same 0.25 interest because this is the per period interest <clears throat> what is the future value the future value is zero what is the equal payment now from the first question we already find out found out that what is the equal payments the equal payments is 500 75 again it's minus because uh, uh, we know that once we will we'll be able to pay that uh, the ali will not be able to consume this 575 so it will go out of his pocket right compute the present value 19772.22 so at this stage after uh, like uh, 24 months over here right over his here He's, if he needs to settle this whole amount and do not want to pay the interest for next 36 periods, like the last 36 periods, he needs to pay 19,772.22, uh, right? Approximately 19,772. So this is how you can do it using the financial calculator. Some students might try to do it in Excel. So let me show you very quickly how we can do it with the Excel. So here is the Excel. And if you know, notice over here, these yellow number uh, cells, they are the input variables. Over here, we will be doing the uh, manually input the values. And the rest is all mostly formulas, right? So this, if keep an eye over here. In this bar right so this is five years this is the input variable what is the number of compounding how many time interest will be charged or paid in a year 12 it's a monthly compounding it is given in the question what is the annual interest rate right in other words simple uh, interest three percent what is the per period interest so i use the formula over here b3 b3 means uh, three percent divided by b2 where b2 is the compounding 12 so i got 0.25 percent what are the total number of periods? I simply multiplied the number of years with the compounding means B1 with B2. So you can see over here B1 multiplied by B2. What is my loan amount? I have to feed in 32,000. What is my future value? Zero. And here I go. I, I use the payment, uh, which is basically in order to find the uh, the uh, the uh, ordinary annuity. So which is payment is equal to B4. So if you go over here, so B4, I can find over here as well. Payment is equal to the rate. What is the rate? Rate is per period rate, right? Not annual we will use. Number of uh, periods, how many number of periods are there? 60, right? What is my um, my present value? 32,000, right? This is what I'm financing. In fact, LA is financing. What is the future value zero right so if i'll do it i'll get minus 575 i'm multiplying this thing with minus one just in order to keep it in positive right so 575 this is how i got it over here right and why uh, i did it because uh, it will uh, the like conceptually it's minus because ali has to pay the 575 so minus is just representing the expense or uh, the outflow of the cash in fact not expense outflow of the cash right so over here uh what why i i'm converting it by uh, uh, it into plus because it will help me 
to prepare the amortization schedule or table easily. So at the end of the first period, if you see, right, what is like, in fact, the is the principal. The principal right at the start is 32,000. So for the first period, for the first period, we begin with the 32,000 uh, uh, principal amount, right? So when we started the first year, means at the end of the zero period right now, it means it's also the beginning of the first period, right? So 32,000 is the remaining pay pay payment. And this is 575 coming from this cell, I10, right? And I locked it because why I locked it? The, the in fact, uh, rather locking over here, uh, I logged it from the second uh, uh, cell, C10. I could have also done over here. Where is C10? I need I needed to check that. Where is C10? Okay, so I logged this one. So whatever I'm doing calculation over here, I did actually the similar calculation over here. So you can see that. B4, B5, B6, and B7, right? I just showed you this calculation over here in I11, right? So this calculation once I did, I lock this cell here onwards, right? So um, in fact, not even locked it. If you want to lock it, you have to put the dollar sign. But even if you do the dollar sign, no, not a problem, right? But what I have done, I have not locked it. I simply give the reference to the cell. Means is equal to, in the second cell, I gave the amount of the previous uh, payment. Why? Because the payment will not change. So payment will remain the same 575 575 in other words this payment remain the same now how the interest is being charged whatever is the beginning balance multiply it with the per period interest so if you see b10 where b10 is actually 32000 multiply by b4 b4 is the per period interest 0.25 and why there is a dollar sign because i want each time these beginning balances to get multiplied by 0.25% and represent me the value over here in this cell in under the interest, right? So if you see this one, this is what I have did. B12 means whatever is the beginning balance for that third period, multiply by the, the same interest rate. And why this dollar sign is important? Uh, I will show you because once I will do it one time in I, I can drag these cells because of the formula and automatically it will be the, the question will populate. I do not have to manually do all these things. What I have all done, I only actually manually entered or with the formulas I entered this uh, rows and then I simply dragged it and easily the calculation happened on its own and I'll show you. So look over here, 32,000 B6, I give the reference over here, 32,000 b6 right this is what i basically calculated over here this one right i could ha also have simply given this cell this calculated value over here right not an issue right it it depends what you want to do if you have already calculated over here uh, i am i'm not able to lose my cell let me see what is happening. Yeah, for some reason, uh, I'm not able to move it. But if you see, this is over here, right? You can easily see that, uh, like, uh, it's uh, the calculation is is happening over here. Just give me a second. Uh, let me see why my mouse is not moving. Yes, now my mouse is moving. Sorry, guys. So uh, now this is coming up from here. This interest rate is simply multiplying 0 0.25 with 32,000. So again, the formula is there. If you see over here, how I'm, this is the principal payment. Principal payment, right? So principal payment means what the first installment, which the Ali has paid 575, out of that 80 was the interest, rest was the principal paid. So from 32,000 after his first payment, actually only 495 
is basically paid and the rest principal is this one which he still has to pay and this principal on this principal in the second period the interest will be charged so this is the now the beginning balance and from where i did i took this uh, value i basically give the reference of this sir is equal to there right and this is the the 575 because i know 575 will simply uh, remain the same uh, installment payment every period so i simply took it from the previous sum this one over here right what is the interest now this beginning pa uh, payment uh, balance sorry multiplied by with the per period interest 0.25% so this is b11 which was the, which is this one 31500 right you can see that multiply by the b dollar b dollar 4 this one because every time this principal uh, uh, the beginning principal balance uh, uh, for each period will be multiplied with this per period interest so the per period interest won't change only this beginning balance will change so this interest amount will also change because the per period interest won't change it will remain 0.25 percent for each of the period for the purpose of interest calculation that's why i have locked this cell by putting dollar sign before the, the uh, before uh, the b and before the uh, numerical uh, uh, address of the cell then again over here c11 means from the beginning balance once so no so not from the beginning from the payment if i'll subtract the interest i'll get the what the the uh, ali has contributed towards the principal and if you see the principal is now going one dollar 24 cents more because as the time goes on the in and the beginning principal start decreasing then the portion of the payment which will go toward the principal that will increase right and then if you subtract this 914 uh, 496.24 which is the principal payment for the second period from the beginning uh, uh, balance of the principal amount i'll get back 31008.77 so this is actually the beginning balance p11 this one minus the principal payment d uh, minus the principal payment d11 you can see over here uh, e11 sorry this is e11 so b11 minus the e e11 so now this if you do it you can see that there is no manual thing enter over here it's all formulas and what i did i can simply drag in the same way i dragged it all across over here so if uh, uh, this is what I have already dragged, but let me show you if I'll drag it for 24 months. So what will happen? Uh, this will go, give me actually six months. Now I think because there I have to select the other numbers. I, if I'll only select six and drag it, the the Excel will consider that the last value was six. So the the, the operator wanted to Excel operator only wanted to uh, add six to the to the cells right but i want 24 periods so 24 period right so now if you see if i'll double click it because of the formula yes the numbers are not correct it will not correct until i'll not populate it for everyone if you see every value is coming down there but again the values are not right and now you will see all the calculation will occur appear over here so this was the same thing which we have done on the calculator right it's 15 uh, 7 cents less but it, you must not be bothered by, by this because um, it's 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 the it's a rounding of shoes on the calculator if i'll increase uh, the decimal sides uh, on the calculator then i most probably get the same thing uh, so it's 19772.15 which is the ending balance which is left for to for the 25th period it means over here this one over here like over here 25th period right 25th period when you start right so so if at the end of 24th period if ali wanted to settle the loan he has to pay 19772 dollars we calculated both on the calculator as well as on the excel and this is the way you can do it on the excel and the calculator i hope you learned from this video and 
if you have any question you can uh, 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 post it on over the uh, you can uh, do the comments or you can also send me an email thank you